Welcome to the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for joining us for the 4 o'clock show this afternoon. We're going to kick off local here. I've got very <laughs> well-known Providence photographer, just in case. Thank you for joining no us in problem. studio. No problem. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you coming in ahead of the kickoff of an exhibit at Providence City Hall. Mm -hmm. Portraits and tributes. And tributes, yep, yep. And it's a double billing, and you're going to be on the tribute side of things. Yes, I'll be doing uh, some, showing some pictures that I've taken of the city. I love Providence, and I love taking pictures of it. So um, when I was approached to do this, I was like, we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do. The other artist uh, does hand drawings of people, so portraits. And they were like, oh, you can do portraits. And I was like, eee. I don't do so many <laughs> portraits. I mean, I do, but it's more for private people, yeah. you know, like weddings like and weddings. stuff like that. So I have tons of that, but I don't know that I necessarily wanted to show that. So I was like, well, is there a way that I can do my pictures of Providence? So we're like, yeah, he was like, tributes to the city. I was like, perfect. Oh, so fantastic. So, so you have the back and forth. So you were yes. approached. They said, we know your work. And yes. they said, we want to feature your work. Yep, <laughs> I was approached by Micah at, um, uh, what is it called? The something for the arts yeah. for Providence. I can't remember the exact yeah. name. Yeah. So he, he hit me up one day um, and he was like, I'd love to do a show with you. And we have some o an opening in, in August. And I was like, sure, I'll do that. Um, another friend of mine had done it a couple of years ago. So I knew that it was a thing. I just didn't know how to be a part of it. Mm. So I kind of put a feeler out there one day. I'm like, hey, how do I get on this? And then one day I got approached by it. So and it's they said good. they want you to do the show. So, mm -hmm. so you kind of took a step back at Portrait, said we can do tributes. And then, what did they say? They, I mean, how many works did they ask of you? Uh, between 10 and 15. So I went with 15 because why not? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if there's enough wall space for everything that I printed because I kind of went big too. I wanted to <clears throat> really show, you know, big pictures. So, and I, I'm a fan of huge pictures. So, so I, are I these literally going to be big? When you go like to city 24, hall? 36. Oh, inch, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at that TV. <laughs> <laughs> now, was this existing work or did you go out and snap any new work? I did take one picture recently that I added to the show. Okay. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't really antici in, in anticipation of the show. It was just something that I was just out doing, and I was like, "Hey, this would be great for for the upcoming show." But I have, I everything I took, everything I'm showing is between 2014 and 2018. So well, we see your work all the time online, and it's clear your love of the city kind I of love Providence, shines yeah. through yeah. in your works. What would you say are some of your favorite works that we will see at City Hall when this kicks off? Like, do you have a favorite? That's hard. That's like asking me which one of my kids are my favorite. It's like, it's really hard. Do you have the one on the highway that's the extended action shot? That one is going to be in the show. It is It is one of my favorites. Uh, this show is kind of like my favorites of the ones that I've taken. And I wish I could have shown more because I have a lot of favorites. But um, I have a really nice long exposure of the highway that I'm going to do. And I have another one that's, um, I call it Cotton Candy Alley. And it's actually it takes it happened right up the street. Um, was, I believe it was in August. It was August 11th, actually, of 2014. I was coming from a show that I was doing with AS220 Youth, and I was walking down the street, and I just happened to glance down this alley, and the sky was just on fire that day, and it was just purples and pinks and oranges. So I just standing in the middle of the street, snapped the picture, and just went home. And I didn't think anything of it. I just thought I was like, hopefully I got it. And then when I did get it get home I was like wow this is pretty good um, it ended up being the, a picture that I gave to my girlfriend at the time who's now my wife Aww. I think it might have won her over <laughs> might have worked so. so that's the key to the exhibit is the <laughs> wife winning photo of Cotton Candy Alley yes and again the tribute to the city I mean what's your if you have the camera on you if you don't have the camera on you what's your, what are your favorite things to do around Providence I like to come downtown sometimes just walk around I like to eat different places um, I mean, there's tons of things to do and, and to eat. There's always something going on in Providence. People always say there's nothing to do in Providence, but there's tons to do in Providence. There's lots of art stuff going on. There's always music, which is always great. Any kind of music you want, you can find it in Providence, which, is, right. which is good. From hip hop to jazz to rock and roll, anything, there's all kinds of stuff going on. And I always enjoy that about Providence, that there's is stuff to do and sometimes it's just nice to sit on your deck and enjoy the sunset you know what I mean like it's we got okay weather you know we're not too bad we're not too good we're just right we're you know okay. yeah we're doing okay, okay. yep yep so and you like working with the kids you I know, do you've I been do. in ASU 20 you've been in the schools <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, you know how much does that mean to you as someone who loves Providence loves capturing Providence to be able to share that with youth and your clear talent and skill as a photographer well it's important to me because someone did it for me 
someone, you know, grabbed me and was like, hey, come be a part of this program. I, I used to work with D.A.R.E. when I was younger. And I, I always say that kind of shaped me into a better teenager, because teenagers can be jerks. So <laughs> it kind of shaped you into, the, into a better teenager. And also um, a gentleman that had a, a record shop on Broad Street, his name was DJ Curdy Cut, rest in peace. He was um, instrumental in helping me become a DJ. And he, I used to hang out at his record shop every day after school. You know, there was a girl there, but that, had, that was only part of it. That was many, many, many years ago. But that, that was only one of the reasons why I was there. But, uh, but having those mentors in the community, as yes, you said, you know, yep. having a, a photographer, people, having the people DJ. from the community taking you under their wing and saying, you know, do this, don't do that, and it, it really helps you become a better person. And it just made it, it instilled in me the the want to give that back. Because I know there's a lot of kids that don't have closer this way over here. Yeah, a lot of kids that don't have that. So it's it's always good to to give back and make sure that, that you know the youth are doing the right thing and that they can express themselves, whether it be through music or art or photography or finger painting or whatever. But pound so. for pound, I mean Providence could compete with any other city in terms of its arts, its arts culture, its music culture. I mean, PVD Fest always very popular. I mean, mm -hmm. art, uh, would you say Providence is really up there in terms of art cities? Yeah, I, I definitely do. I, um, PVD Fest was great. I, I loved when Sound Session was around. That was always fun every year. And I'm glad that something like it has continued. It's not quite the same, but mm -hmm. it's, it's very close. Um, but there's always something to do, and there's always great things happening if you just reach out and look for it. Sometimes it's, it's harder to find things, which is kind of frustrating, but if you kind of know where to look, you can find things. And if you know where to look, this week it's Thursday, correct? Yes, okay. Thursday from 4.30 to 6.30 at uh, City Hall. So the kickoff exhibit will be running for an extended period of time. We'll put all the links for that up online, but can people come and kind of just approach you and talk about the works on Thursday? Of course, night? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be the guy with the camera, probably. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Will you be <coughs> taking pictures at your opening? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I might. I might. I might not. Uh, the la last couple of openings, I, I just forgot. Yourself. Yeah. You can't yeah. Help yourself. I'll, I'll have the camera with me, but I may not pull it out. We, we never know. We never know. Portraits and tributes on Thursday kicking off, as I said, we'll have all the links to that. But what's next? You know, we talked about it being a busy summer, everything going on from weddings to showers. I mean, I just there's constantly, just in case, filling up Facebook feeds, Instagram feeds. What's what's next? Well, what's next for me is is really to focus more on gallery stuff. So I'm trying to make a push to get my work out there more than just on Facebook. I, I want to hang it up places. I would I would love to be one of those artists that has one of their big portraits hanging up in the city somewhere. So it's just a push to really get myself out there and you know, be, become more well known as a photographer and see what happens after that. Well, again, you can catch him at Thursday, moving forward at City Hall, just in case. Appreciate your taking the time to come talk with us about the tribute side of things <laughs> and portraits and tributes, again, kicking off at Providence City Hall on Thursday. Thanks so much for no taking problem. the time Thank to you come for in. Me. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center.